sit, sit, sit. My ABA is not working. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. My name is Tiffany and I am a school psychology intern this year. And today I wanna to talk about some job and volunteer experiences that will help your resume so you can get into grad school. While I think grades and your GRE scores and all those things are really important, I think experience speaks volumes in a school psychology program application. When they look at your resume, it shows you what you're interested in and what kind of experiences you have outside of school. This can include jobs, volunteer experiences, and research. So we will get started. I always tell everyone who asks me this question that you should always try to find some experience working with children because being a school psychologist, you are always going to work with children. That is your job. It's not like educational psychologists where you're doing research about children you're always working with children. Of course, you know, you're working with other staff members and teachers and adults as well, but your main role is to support children in a school setting. So try to find some experience working with children, like in a daycare setting, babysitting, tutoring. You can work at like a summer camp. Those are great coaching for sports. I did some ABA therapy before um, going to grad school. It was exhausting. And I have some tea about that field as well, but I think it gave me really good experience and got my feet wet in mental health and working with children. After school programs are great. There's before and after school programs and Sunday school, like you can teach kids you know, volunteer every Sunday. So I also tell people that working in a school is really valuable because you get to um, kind of immerse yourself in a school setting and that's kind of unique in itself. Like working in a public school, private schools are great too, but working in a school, you get to work with all these different staff members and also a school psychologist that you can interact with and maybe shadow or ask questions. So I think working in a public school setting is great for that reason to build relationships and connections. But also, of course, you're still working with children. So I heard substitute teaching is great experience. You're kind of thrown in there to work with kids. And I think substitute teaching takes an additional skill on top of regular teachers because you're going into a class where no one really knows you and you don't really know the kids and you're kind of being thrown in there. A.A. Ron, where are you? Where is A.A. Ron right now? Or it can be an I.A. Um, that's an instructional assistant. And um, for these jobs, like you get paid and you get good experience. I think you get to hit two birds with one stone. You can also work in the front office if your schedule allows, or you can be a teacher. And some places you can teach without a master's degree. So definitely look into your state's Department of Education. Also, schools love to see research because they are, you know, in academia so any research experience is great especially if it's related to schools education learning or children and mental health so I would definitely get your hands on some research experience if you can I do want to say that for specialist programs they don't really prioritize having research experience not like PhD programs do because they they're kind of based on research, right? Like you have a research project and they really weigh research very heavily as opposed to a lot of specialist programs, they are more training focused. And so while research is great, I don't think it's necessary. They'll never say it's bad experience. They'll always be happy to see that on your resume. And it's something also like, that's interesting to talk about during your interviews. Outside of those, you can also volunteer work in like a clinic setting. So like Private practice would be great. Um, one time I got to volunteer in like a music therapy clinic. That was really cool. You also get to work with kids in different mental health areas. And also if you can find opportunities to work or volunteer in a hospital, that would be awesome. You know, especially in the psychiatric department or the pediatric department, you know, you get to kind of work in the fields that are related to school psychology. Outside of like work or volunteer experience, if you want to gain more knowledge and make yourself a better candidate, I also recommend interviewing or shadowing a school psychologist. I think more, more and more programs are expecting you to know the roles of a school psychologist and I think they want you to know so you can enter the program knowing what you're getting yourself into. So I highly recommend looking for a school psychologist. It could be someone in your area or you can reach out online, you know, on Reddit, on Facebook groups, on um, social media, and see if there's anyone that is willing to answer some of your questions or even let you shadow. I think that is awesome experience because there's nothing like um, getting information firsthand. So, or is that secondhand? <laughs> Anyways, I hope that was helpful. 
Uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any other experiences like jobs or volunteer experiences that you think are helpful for getting into a school psychology program and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!